Okay, since I'm finally uh, getting to my stuff, and I had this dug out for something earlier, uh, maybe a customer's tram, but um, since I'm getting past customer stuff and doing mine, I was digging out some stuff, and man, I got stuff I didn't even know I had and forgot about and all that, but um, found this old um, Skipper 300 by Palomar. Um, this one is a little bit rough on the face uh, with the top cover on, which I took off and I got it running, so I'm not going to put the cover on with a, you know, 800,000 volts playing around on there. Um, it didn't look too bad, but when I took the uh, cover off, it's um, pretty rusty, a little bit rough looking, you know, surface rust, you know, all over the place. Um, that's the bad news, but you know it's got a uh, box fan in it, four eighty-nine fifty tubes in it, original uh, look like Compactron eighty-nine fifties in it. Don't know if I can zoom in on that. I'm not gonna get too close with a. Again, it's on and that voltage is running on, but I guess you can see that one driving three. So the tubes are pretty much worth a fortune in these things. The uh, twelve volt. 8950 which is basically six volt six lf sixes and a lot of times people are uh, converted to six lf sixes which are you know not cheap but cheaper than 8950s and then there's a bunch of um other tubes that are pretty much interchangeable with six lf sixes like six kd six and six kn sixes and some more i made a chart on that that i've you know post it a couple times somewhere but anyway today we's just gonna do the um rusty uh palomar 300a um seems to work except the preamp doesn't work um and i was also gonna do a quick one on this hickok um monitor 38 cb monitor because somebody was asking you know can i do a demo on it and since i didn't put it away yet um, I'll start with the Hickok um, it's a um, CB automatic reading digital SWR meter um, you key up it automatically reads SWR which is that there 1.52 also on watts this originally back in the 70s, 60s, 70s, it came in as a 10 watt watt meter, but I guess 10 watts, you know, quickly wasn't enough. So uh, Hickok came out with a mod like change a resistor here and a, uh, a capacitor there, and you converted this 10 watt watt meter to a 100 watt watt meter. So this one has been converted. It will handle 100 watts. I wouldn't run any more to that through it because I would be afraid you would fry it. And one other hitch is uh, once it was converted to 100 watts, when you put you know four or five watts in, it's still on that 100 watt scale. There are no you know scales. It's you know 100 watt digital scale or nothing. So uh, since it's 100, you only get that. Um, first digit which is you know um, when you're running 10 watts or less so six watts you know on that hundred watt scale and also this is a RMS meter so it doesn't you know show peak watts no way to show peak at all and I actually hate um, digital readout watt meters like this I don't like reading watts on it but on the other hand I love digital SWR meters like that and no calibrating that's the part I like the most no calibrating it reads your SWR directly and also this one has a freak counter in it um, you can see the only thing wrong with this is that one leg at that one digit is bad but when you key it down you know it's gonna read 27 megahertz anyway so once you key it down you don't know it it's you know just like other inline free counters it's gonna only work when you key down and you're not modulating um, that's the only way any free 
uh, inline free counter will work. Once you start modulating, you know, that signal's going up and down and to zero, and a uh, free counter can't figure all that out. Um, so, anyway, that's it on the Hickok. Um, a, this one is a 0 to 100 watt watt meter. I think the manual said it takes one or two watts to get it going and it reads automatic SWR and automatic uh, free counter and I personally hate it for the watts and you know especially if you're gonna try to peak or tune uh, you know a CV for six watts you know six watts try to try to peak or tune that right so um, hate it for a watt meter but love it for a SWR meter and the free counter you know in one with this hiccup and I guess you know um, this um, SWR meter by the way is in between the mud duck radio I'm using up there and the um, Palomar skipper here and the Palomar skipper is actually on and operate so what you're reading is um, I always say about input SWR check your what's your input SWR and one of the things about these automatic uh, calibrating watt meters is you know you put it in line key down your amp and that's my input SWR you know 1.51 1 or whatever um, so that's what I like about them the, the um, SWR meter and the free counter hate these things for watts um, so the Palomar Skipper 300 not a pretty one you know pretty rusty but it does have original 8950s in it and over here on the output side we're on the um, 2000 watt scale on average and you know this one isn't a screamer but uh, just gonna key it down on average so we did key in about 150 hello hello audio 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 barely tickling up audio audio it's creeping up a little bit you know holding the dead key but I'm about to standing still might even be backing up a little bit and last we're gonna put it on peak audio 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 I think I got a squeal in there you know I'm close to the amp with the mic and the D104 and all that I wasn't getting that earlier it did keys about uh 175 swings to about I'm back in the mic out and you can see that squeal going away it doesn't um, you know just any amp doesn't like to have a, especially a, a amplified microphone I got a D104 in one hand and uh, when I get too close to the amp I get that squeal in there as you can see it's dead keen about two and the audio audio it's trying to hit 400 as I key it down gets a little bit harder audio and again I only got the mud duck radio um, going into it probably you know swinging to about you know 13 14 watts all I'm putting into it so um, preamp doesn't work not a pretty one but um, 8950 tubes and uh, does put out does do what it's supposed to do and that's gonna be the um, Palomar skipper 300 and the um, Hickok 38 um, automatic SWR meter RMS digital watt meter to 100 watts no more and the um, free counter alright bye